GM's LSA is a supercharged 6.2 liter aluminum block LS variant that was available in the Camaro ZL1 and Cadillac CTS-V during the 2009 through 2015 years. These engines were built simply for all-out performance. It's perfect for engine swaps, but the stock wide and bulky accessory drive leaves a lot to be desired. Lucky for us, Holly has an LSA specific accessory drive that tucks in our accessories and creates extra clearance for engine swaps and lets you turn this into this. Holly's accessory drive allows you to show off your engine and not your accessories. Everything has been re-engineered. All of the accessories have been pulled in more towards the engine minimizing its footprint. More clearance and better looks is what you get with Holly's LSA accessory drives. All brackets, pulleys, and belts are supplied for both supercharger and all the accessories. It's designed to work with the original LSA damper pulley and other aftermarket versions. Everything you need to get you running is included in these kits. Our LSA includes all brand new AC compressor, alternator, power steering pump, and reservoir, along with all the required brackets, pulleys, tensioners, and bolts. Everything in the kit is specifically designed for our LSA engine. All the supplemental components have a factory look and feel down to the grade 8 bolts. Choose between natural and black finishes for your project. Let's go ahead and get one of these installed. To save time, I've already removed the factory accessories. Holly's accessory drive offers three different mounting positions for our AC compressor. Determining which belt alignment you need depends on your crank pulley. For our LSA, the standard alignment is what we'll be using. Loosely mount the standard plate to the engine block. Then, using the standard spacer, attach it to the bracket. Make note of the indent which clocks the spacer in the correct position. The standard alignment uses this bolt hole arrangement. Now we can attach the compressor bracket using the M10 bolts to the plate. Torque the M8 bolts to 25 foot-pounds and the M10 bolts to 36 foot-pounds. Before mounting our compressor, make sure to tap in the steel bushings till they sit flush against the compressor bracket. Now we can attach our compressor using the M8 bolts. Torque these to 18 foot-pounds. Let's install the small tensioner. It mounts with the pulley facing upwards. Torque the two M10 bolts to 36 foot-pounds. Use the provided four rib serpentine belt to wrap around the crank pulley and AC compressor. Using a 3 8 breaker bar, slide the belt into place. Since we're using a four rib belt on a six rib pulley, make sure it is aligned all the way to the back of the compressor, leaving the front two rows exposed, aligned with the crank pulley. The loose wire will activate the clutch when connected to 12 volts positive. Negative ground is through the case of the compressor, so make sure to keep that in mind if you're painting your components. Mating surfaces must be bare metal. With the compressor mounted, we can now remove the blocking plate and install our manifold. Let's get started with the alternator. The Holly designed 150 amp alternator uses six phase technology. The alternator bracket mounts to the lower engine block. Use the M10 bolts to mount the alternator. Torque the three M10 bolts to 36 foot pounds. Use the included plug to connect your alternator to a switch 12 volt source when the key is on the run position. There is a Holly supplied idler pulley that mounts onto the alternator bracket. Use the M10 bolt to mount the pulley and torque to 36 foot pounds. Next up is our power steering pump and reservoir. First, let's assemble our AN adapter tube here on the table. Make sure to use the provided crush washers on both sides of the banjo fitting. We'll hand tighten it for now. Now let's mount the bracket to the power steering unit and use the supplied M8 bolts. Don't forget the adapter tube bolts right below the reservoir. Hand tighten it. Once we have it assembled, we can then torque the M8 bolts to 18 foot-pounds and the banjo bolt to 25 foot-pounds. Let's go ahead and mount our power steering unit to the head. Use the M10 bolts to mount the power steering assembly, torqued to 36 foot-pounds. The power steering pulley must be installed using a pulley installation tool. You can rent or purchase one at most auto parts stores. Make sure the pulley is facing the right direction before installing it onto the pump shaft. The pulley hub must be installed so that it is flush with the pump shaft for proper belt alignment. Now we can install our supercharger tensioner bracket. 
Use the M8 bolts to fasten the bracket onto the water pump. Torque these to 25 foot-pounds. Now we can install the accessory belt tensioner. It uses two M10 bolts. Torque these down to 36 foot-pounds. Next up is our supercharger idler bracket. Use the M8 bolts to fasten the bracket onto the water pump. Torque these to 25 foot-pounds. Before installing the supercharger idler pulleys, let's install our accessory belt. Following the belt routing diagram, slip the belt over all the pulleys with the exception of the water pump. Using a breaker bar with a 15 millimeter socket, move the tensioner downward and slide the last portion of the belt over. Slowly release the tensioner and double check that the belt is completely seated in the grooves of every pulley. Now we can install the supercharger belt tensioner. It only installs one way, so make sure to position it correctly. Use the M10 bolt and torque it to 36 foot-pounds. There should be two idler pulleys left, a large and small one. The large one goes on the top position while the small one on the bottom. Torque both to 36 foot-pounds. Route the supercharger belt as shown, except the large idler pulley. With a half inch breaker bar, insert it into the supercharger tensioner slot and pull downwards. You can now slide over the supercharger belt. Make sure the belt is seated into the grooves of all the pulleys. And there we have it. Holly's LSA accessory drive looks right at home on our engine. Enjoy your classic with a modern accessory drive that looks like it came that way from the factory. Make sure to check out all our swap systems available for your ride at holly.com.